Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So my neighbor and good buddy Gerald sent me a message, said he needed some help, some advice on some electrical. So let's head over there and see what he's got going on. Oh man, he's got a nice spot here. Right on a point. Looks good, G man. I'm not too far away. And this is me right here. We're pretty close. Let's go knock on his door and see what he's up to. Oh, cool, looks like Gerald's got his own cabin. I would judge by those electrical cords though that he's not so off the grid. But that's cool, we won't judge. Let's see what he's up to. Hey man. Hey. How's it going? It's not too bad. Good to see you. If it's not my favorite off-grid cabin builder. How are oh, you doing, Big Ben? I see you've got your own little place going on here. I'm doing great. Oh, this is awesome, man. Oh, cool. cheers, cheers. Yeah, yeah. come on in. Come right on in. Come right check on. this out. What do you got going on in here? Oh, it's uh, my perfect bunky oh, project. Oh, yeah. Check that out. Looking good. I love the walls and the ceiling. Nice. Yeah, you've got height. You've got some, you know, yeah. some ceiling. I love it. Uh, it's awesome. It so what awesome. are we into today? I'd like to finish off some hydro and get off extension cords for now. Oh, you okay. Know, so well, I see you got a good start here. Falls here. What do we know? Yeah. Well, yeah. I don't mind giving you some advice, but uh, I'm sure you know, and we've talked about it in the past, me being an electrician and working in Ontario. I can give you the advice and I'll show you how to do it, and we'll get some good stuff done here. You're the man. Okay. okay. Sounds good, man. Cheers, man. Awesome. Let's get out. I have a dilemma. Okay. I don't know where I'm going to put my heater. You got a convector. Oh, yeah. that'll be nice. Yeah. Um, your heater or your thermostat? The heater itself. This one? I'd put it underneath the window. One of your bigger windows. Or over there. Okay. Wherever you put it is... Usually what you do is you put a heater underneath the window so that any of the coldness from the window is kind of like... A, a, a wall of a heat wall that of heat protects it, through. and yeah. then it that heat rises and it it'll warm the air from the window, and then it'll make like a convection of the room and circulate so that warm. So the challenge out. with that, because um, I don't think I'll do propane in here ever. I've just decided against it. It's a small space, yep. like for the amount of heat that you really need. One tank of propane for three years. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's just overkill. So why don't what if I do in that one, you right in the middle? Yeah, because it's because I've got the fans, I can move the air around, right? Yeah, and it's more central for furniture placement. There's nothing that's going to go underneath that window. Are you using a thermostat? Yeah, I'd like to. So if you put the heater over there, I'd put the thermostat over here, and then controlled. It's, it's got an internal thermostat. Or if you use that though, then the temperature sensing is right. It will be unit. right at the unit. Okay. We Which can you do can do. You can do the thermostat after the fact, put it somewhere around here. As long as you've run a wire for it. I'll have to go over a wind above. Okay. Yeah. So, makes sense? Probably. Yeah, it can we'll all be worked out. The yeah. easiest thing would probably be to go on the bottom. Oh, from the ground? And up. And up, okay. We'll see. I'd rather not drill any holes on the bottom because of the insulation. 
Yeah. That's my only key. But Did you uh, sprayed it? It's sprayed from when the kick came up to this post, you can see it. Oh. Yeah, that post, you can see that. It's pretty from the that oh, corner. The corners, yeah. 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 No, he did that corner because the machine was still running. <laughs> like, can you do that corner? Okay. Cool. All right. You know, Gerald, it, it's funny that you called me. I was just talking to my uh, YouTube subscribers in my last video yeah. about community and how we as a society, my, I have an opinion that we as a society have really got disconnected from community and having that atmosphere where you have a group of people that in a zone together work together, help each other and create a community. You know that's my motto, right? You, you, it takes a village. That's my motto. It's everything we do around here it would not be feasible if we didn't have friends and neighbors in the community that we can do stuff That's together, it. you know. Pulling out docks, you know, you need a hand with the roof. Uh, you need to cover whatever. You forgot something. Yeah. Electrician, plumbers, pipe fitters, yeah. doctors and nurses. Yeah. yeah. That's why I have The hands of many make the work light they and... That's why Two I have minds are always better than one. Than one, yeah. Why do I have the annual Kenyan dinner? It's to get everybody together. Yeah. Did it's you want to tell your our, my subscribers about uh, your origins? Hey, folks. Born and raised in Kenya. Love where I am. It's lovely, <laughs> and I love the people in my surroundings. Awesome folks. And I gotta tell you, your Kenyan cooking is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Don't leave me hanging, bro. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> nice, oh, nice. Love you, man. Love you too, dude. So I was just telling Gerald, the minimum breaker height for a panel in Ontario is 1.5 meters. So he's gonna build in a backboard for the panel into this wall here. So we measured the depthness of the panel and we added the thickness of the plywood and he's going to put a couple of two by fours onto the beams that he has here so that it's recessed in and the panel cover will be flush with the surface. Looking sexy, Gerald. Is it? I gotta say, you inviting me over to uh, drink your alcohol while I uh, tell you what to do is uh, <laughs> it's uh, it's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. You mind grabbing that for me? Uh. It's almost. We have enough room. Yeah, or should it come this way so that the door flips? Actually, maybe it should come closer yeah. to this. Yeah, put it right up against it. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Good man. It's like well thought out. Fuck. That's what neighbors are for. Thank you, sir. Now, fuck, where's my little level? On a micro level. You're swearing on camera. Oh. YouTube's gonna be mad. Well, Mr. Gerald, what do you think? I love. Get the cover on and finish it up. Oh yeah, it's uh, quite a venture. Three hours in, and finally. This is a finishing finishing touch, isn't yeah. it? You did a good job. I like awesome. your work. Thank you.
the cover is spring loaded. The yeah, inner part I, is. I can see that. I'm just pushing a bit. When did you start your drill, your bunky drill? It's been a year. <laughs> a year, and you're at this point. It looks good, this man. Point, excluding winter, though. We shut down for about four months. No projects. It looks really good. You've done a super nice job. I love the whitewashed tongue and groove pine on the ceiling and walls. That's a mama touch. Well, we'll give props to Mama T. Mama T and her props. I'm not an interior designer by any chance. I just do as I'm told. I think there's an old saying, happy wife. Happy life. You <laughs> got her, buddy. Oh, oh look at the, you even got a full beam. I love it. That was an added rustic touch. I have a neighbor that mills their own wood. And he asked me if I could make use of these guys. And I sure did. And I love it. It looked nice. Those beams look great. It looks nice. makes a nice mount for your TV too. For sure, for sure. Well, you'll have no shortage of light with all these pot lights in here. Go big or go home. I love it. <laughs> it's good. Everything's nice, nice and neat, nice done up nice. Well, uh, we just got to put some straps on the cable on the bottom there, and then you'll meet code. So, should be good. Life should be good. Yeah, I right think you're gonna pass your inspection. Cheers. Right on, brother. Awesome. Thank you. Well, everybody, thanks for tuning in for this video. I appreciate you subscribing and liking the video if you enjoyed it. Leave me a comment and uh, tell me what you think of Gerald's Bunky, and I'll be sure to pass it on and let him know. Thanks for watching again, and so bye from me, and uh, hasta mañana, it was a pleasure. Yeah, thanks for being in the video, Gerald. Talk to you later.